the emotional moment playing out just a short time ago in the historic Supreme Court hearing for Supreme Court nominee Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson, wiping away tears after supportive words from Senator Cory Booker. Judge Jackson all day facing Republicans' fierce questioning. They spent much of their time asking about child pornography and sentencing. How Judge Jackson responded and that moment that brought tears. ABC's Rachel Scott live on the Hill tonight. Tonight, Senate Republicans again going after this historic nominee, almost singularly focused on Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson's sentencing record for people convicted of possessing or sharing child pornography. For the second day in a row, Texas Senator Ted Cruz ticking through individual cases. I've taken every case seriously. These are you, you very you about the horrible I'm asking you specifically about the Hess case. I've taken every case seriously. So you're not going to answer that? These are very horrible crimes, as was that one. And as a mother, having to look at these pictures, having to follow Congress's directive, having to listen to recommendations like the government in that case, I imposed the sentence that I believed was the sentence that was required by law. Jackson clearly frustrated. Senator, no one case can stand in for a judge's entire sentencing record. I have sentenced more than 100 people. You have eight or nine cases okay. in that chart. Okay, Judge, you said that before. The, these are the eight or nine child porn cases. I will say to correct the record. I, I just say about to the judge, there's no point in responding. He's going to interrupt you. Thank you. The Republican attacks on Judge Jackson are misleading. According to the U.S. Sentencing Commission, just 30 percent of people convicted of viewing or sharing child pornography are sentenced within the federal guidelines. The majority have received lesser sentences from judges nominated by both parties. That includes nearly a dozen federal judges nominated by President Trump and confirmed by Senate Republicans. Republican Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri has voted for at least three of them. But still, he spent his entire questioning focusing on child pornography, 30 minutes yesterday and another 20 today, going case by case. Judge, you gave him three area. months. My question is, do you regret it or not? Senator, what I regret is that in a hearing about my qualifications to be a justice on the Supreme Court, we've spent a lot of time focusing on this small subset of my sentences. The conservative National Review denouncing Hawley's attacks as meritless to the point of demagoguery. And some Republican senators put off by the focus on child pornography. It struck me that it was off course, said Mitt Romney. There's no there there. Nearing the end of a grueling day, Democratic Senator Cory Booker bringing Judge Jackson to tears, telling her she had more than earned her Supreme Court nomination. You did not get there because of some left-wing agenda? You didn't get here because of some dark money groups? You got here how every black woman in America who's gotten anywhere has done, by being <laughs> uh, like Ginger Rogers said, I did everything Fred Astaire did, but backwards in heels. But don't worry, my sister, <laughs> don't worry. God has got you. And how do I know that? Because you're here. And I know what it's taken for you to sit in that seat. And Rachel Scott joins us live from the Hill tonight. And Rachel, President Biden today praising Judge Jackson's uh, intellect and her grace in these hearings. Yes, and David, the White House says the president was impressed by how Judge Jackson dismantled those conspiracy theories. These hearings have been emotional and intense. And so tonight, you had senators, members of Jackson's family, wiping tears from their eyes as Senator Booker reminded the nation of the history being made in that room. David? Rachel Scott on the Hill again tonight. Thank you, Rachel. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.